We are back after a week and a half off and it's Hungerford Town away in our next Southern Premier South League outing. Three new players have joined the Robin to head off tonight. Midfielder Liam Tack has returned to the club after nearly a year at Ascot United, scoring 15 goals in 31 appearances. Centre-back Jack Matton arrives on a 28-day loan from Wickham Wanderers. And forward Jake Scrimshaw has also joined on dual registration from Weymouth. For the first time in a while, we lost a game of football, getting knocked out of the FA Trophy, losing 6-3 at Lewis a week and a half ago. Although it could be worse, your name could be Darnie Hampson. Hey Darnie! However, at this moment we are still draw specialists in the league, while Hungerford have at least a win in their last three, including a huge 9-3 win against Plymouth Parkway. Barks and Bucks' third round draw was made last week and we've been drawn away to Step 5 Holyport, so that's another new ground for me to tick off. With that, drop a like on the video to show your support for the channel, and now let's get to Ball Pit Lane. So I'm just outside Ball Pit Lane now, and my score prediction, I'm going to go for a very scrappy 1-0 win. Whenever it comes to Ball Pit Lane, there's never many goals at all. On Saturday, in their last result, Hungerford drew 2-2 two -two at Winchester City. They were 2-0 up at Winchester, but then Winchester formed a comeback to earn a point. It was actually the Crusaders' former goalkeeper, Luke Kenny, who scored a penalty to equalise for Winchester. So, crazy result that. But I'm looking forward to this one. We haven't won yet under John Underwood, so hopefully that will come tonight, the first win under his reign. My score predictions the last few weeks have been pretty awful but it's great to finally get back to league action after nearly two weeks without it so yeah let's get inside ball pit lane So to expand on two of our latest recruits, Max Maton is an 18-year-old defender. He is six foot four, so very tall. He's meant to be very good in both boxes. But that'd be quite useful for us, I reckon. And also Jake Scrimshaw is 24 years old. He's had experience in the National League and even the EFL League too, more specifically. He started off his career at Bournemouth. So yeah, I think they'll be two great signings for the club. Also, we know already about Liam Tack and what he can do in midfield. So I'm looking forward to seeing all three of them later on tonight. It's not a bad night at the moment. It's meant to be raining later on, apparently. It could happen in my like it will happen but the pitch is yeah it's all right at least the game's gonna go ahead unlike last good friday when it was pouring it down and the game only just went ahead but apparently they've got a good drainage system here so that's a good thing all right lads i've done it i've gone for the ball pit beast the famous ball pit beast at hungerford town cost me i think it was 750 look at that two beef burgers tomatoes which can come straight out lettuce cheese wow bear in mind guys i've just had sausage and chips and now i've gone for this because i can't not you know have it i've been here four or five times i've not had this yet we've found it we've found the 10 out of 10 burger the burger is cooked to perfection i've got rid of the tomatoes because who likes tomatoes in the burger but this is absolutely banging. If you come to Ball Pit Lane, get the Ball Pit Beast. It's about 750, but it's worth every penny. It is so, so nice. Look at it. It is just so meaty. I might have a heart attack tonight. I reckon that Ball Pit Beast will give me a heart attack tonight. And if it does, I've had a great life, people. Don't, yeah, get me at my worst angle, man. <laughs> bent over. Um, I'm going to say 2 1 to the Robins. Come on. I'll have to think about it. Give me two seconds. Two all. Two one. Oh, I can't go two all. Colin, score yes. prediction. I'm going a dodgy two one. I am going to go for a three two win. Michael Eacott remains the captain at number one. Joel Rawlinson returns to the squad at 14. Both Jack Matton and Jake Scrimshaw make their club debuts, whilst Liam Tack makes his second debut for the Robins. And the subs bench consists of Elliot Legg, Jaheim Dotzer, Ben Purcell, Joe Dandy and Gabe George. Now let's see how we get on up the Robins. A few moments later. I haven't even got in position yet in this 1-0. Just like Lewis away, we've conceded so early on, but this time we've not even made the stand. But yeah, 1-0 down already. Come on, we can't keep conceding this early on in the game. Oh, 
was lucky. Good defending though. Give us a wave, Donny, Donny, give us a wave, Donny, three! George not have been excellent so far, trying to win the ball back, been quite successful in that, but we've just got to put a bit more pressure, which we are, and the goal may come soon. Start putting some pressure on now to maybe take a 2 1 lead. Superb ball from the defence in the box. Goes across the face of goal. This is more like it though. Pick that up. Well collected. That wide. Who shit? Oh. Well, it was really disappointing to go 1 0 down so early on within the first minute, but as the half went on, we grew into the game. I think, you know, there's still a really good chance for us to take the lead. We improved so much as the first half went on. Cheshire getting the equaliser, um, which is great, livening up the atmosphere and livening up the team. So I think it's possible. And George Knight's been great getting the ball back. So yeah, I'm confident in the second half we could get the three points. Kevin, please get your drum out. Oh, Sorry, it is out. I'm on my summer drop. Get rid of it. Oh, nice bit of play. This is what we want to see. Heavy touch, but we've still got it. Pitch is getting a bit boggy now. In front of the man. So we do it. This is much more like it. Lovely flick, lovely counter. I think he's open. Went in, in the corner. Great touch. That's a great ball, though. It's a great ball. Play on, just play on. Oh, she went to left. Oh. Don't do that. Good save by Big Mike, we needed that. We've been doing so well in this game, we can't concede now. Good team. Mug him off, he has! In the box! Oh! Oh, that was so close! Oh. That was so close to going in the goal! Look at the water spray coming up for that. You Robin! The voice is going. Come on, you Robin! That's a net! Oh! And the board's gone up four minutes of injury time. We deserve a winner, but it's not happening at the moment. 
It's behind you! Embarrassing that keeper! Time wasting at home on a draw! Well, they've got a corner right at the end. Go on, Jaheim! Go on, Jaheim! You've got a corner! Come on, boy! Right at the end! Potentially the winner, we just got a minute or so to go. Come on! Come on, Bracknell! Oh, I can't believe we won! We do! We love you, Bracknell! We do! We do! We got Bracknell! We do! Did you say 2 1? We love you! 2 1! 2 1! For the first time in a while, here we go! Well, there we go. It was our first win in what felt like a long time. Liam Tack, last minute limbs. You love to see it. We deserved that win tonight. I think second half, the boys gave it their all. And yeah, we totally deserved the three points. Um, we had plenty of chances. Hungerford, you feel like might have snuck it right at the end as well. But luckily, it was us and those scenes were wonderful. And with that, we've gone up one position up to 11th in the table. So very happy with that. Next up, we're home to Wimborne on Saturday in the Southern League Premier South. And yeah, I'm just absolutely delighted with that i could sense that goal was coming but well deserved absolutely well deserved drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more of these non-league vlogs like i said saturday back at home to Wimborne. so hopefully we can get a little winning streak going but yeah absolutely fantastic really good it got wet in the end but well worth the night out anyway thank you for watching as always and i'll see you guys very soon come on up the robins